Hi, this is Dina with Pretty Productive. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. Please consider subscribing and hitting the alert for all future videos. Today what I'm going to be doing is a week four of February check-in as well as a February closeout. So overall a pretty good month. Um, did go over in a few categories, so we'll kind of talk about those. So to start with groceries, since that seems to be my key category lately, um, on the 23rd, I spent $22. On the 24th, I spent 68 plus 35, and that was 125. And I had 120 in, so and then I also borrowed from my allowance as well. So overall, I spent so my budget was 500, and I spent one 125 plus 270 plus 183 plus 125. I spent 703. So, <clears throat> yeah, um, that's over $205. Okay, that's great. And then for my allowance, I spent 36 at Walmart. I spent $10 at Fry's because I didn't have enough money. And I spent $26 at Walmart on the 25th. So overall, that is $72. So I'm over $22. And then for eating out, actually, we only went out once, which was Friday last night. And that was $30, and then I had 50 in that envelope. And I paid my niece's little girl 20, so I gave her, that's the only cash I had, so I gave her the 20 out of my food envelope, because um, she was helping me out with some chores around here. So I'm just gonna put the whole 50 down, because I did spend the whole 50. And then for giving 100, Household, I actually did not spend anything this week, which I thought I was going to, so that's going to roll over. Entertainment, I didn't spend anything. Personal care, I didn't spend anything. And clothing, I actually got a refund. So I'm going to put tw plus 25, so 95. So I did buy some things, some shirts, and then I returned them because I didn't like them. So I put them cash back into the envelope. So you'll see that when we go through the envelope. So overall, um, definitely over, but I did start a healthy eating plan this month and there was a lot of ingredients that I purchased that I normally wouldn't have to purchase, nor will I have to replenish them really soon. So I feel like for March, I did increase March's budget, but at least I feel like, you know, I guess if you're gonna go over in a category, that would be the one to go over. Um, so let's take a look at the sinking funds. I think the most damage I definitely did was in my shop. So car fund, um, did not spend anything. For Christmas and gifts, I did spend I'm kind of feeling like Christmas, like my sinking funds should have a label, but let's see here. I spent 160 and 58. So 160 plus 58, so 218. So I started with 705, 
I added a thousand. I spent two eighteen. I should have fourteen eighty seven. Um, fitness, I did spend the 99, so I have 101. Medical, um, I was over $8. I had 100 in there, and I spent 108. Um, vacation, I didn't spend anything. Here's where all the money went. Um, let me just look it up really quick. One moment, I need to look at my Capital One and see where. I just wrote it down for my March budget, but I guess this will be easier. It was a lot, let's just put it that way. So in my Etsy shop, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I started with 1,023. I added 1,108. 1,103. No. <laughs> this can't be right. 1,023 plus 1,108. I have 615. So I took out 1,518 and I have 651, 615. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna address this in my March budget as well. And then technology, I just really took out the amount that I used to pay. Let me just check it. So I have 3425. And then savings challenge is 460 plus 210, 670. So a lot of money for my shop and I need to kind of, well, well, we'll address that. So overall, not a bad month. Um, Really working out my whole envelopes and not borrowing from them. I did pretty well till the end of the month with allowance and then um, taking the 20 out of my food budget or my eating out budget was just because I had not stuffed my envelopes yet. So overall a pretty good month. Um, and then we're going to... Uh, roll right into March setup. So I'm actually gonna do that as a separate video because it's gonna be a long one. And I'm gonna go ahead and close this one up. Um, I do want to review my envelopes and where we're starting March though. So here are my tabs, they are all completely empty. For electricity, I have the 102 that I rolled over from the difference of my electric bill. So. I'm budgeting 250 per month because on an average that is what it is. And then if it's whatever it is less than that, we'll go into this to help offset the summer months cuz I live in Arizona and it's going to go up to probably close to $500. And then for savings, you're going to see this in my March setup. Um so savings really is money that I had put that was left over in my envelopes for you know the month and then this is going towards my savings challenge so what i have in here right now is one two three oh, let me separate it really quick i did cash out like i needed fives and i put ones in here so okay so in my savings um, which is, this is all money that came from cash envelopes. 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 61, 62, 63, 64, 68, 5, 66, 
75. So I have 175 in savings towards the challenge. I am gonna actually add in a few dollars um, in some of my other ones. Bank is money that I took from my envelopes or I used my card and then I had to take the money from the envelope and put it back in. So that is 10, oh hello, oh my gosh. One, two, 350. Four fifty, five fifty, six sixty, six seventy. No, <laughs> six fifty, six sixty, sixty two, sixty three, sixty five. So six sixty five is going back into the budget for my March cash stuffing. Um, groceries is empty. Eating out is empty. Allowance is empty. Household has 120 because she didn't clean this week. So I'm gonna roll this over. So when I set up my March budget, I accounted for this 120 to roll into March, so I just funded it with less because I still had this in here. Entertainment, I'm going to, see, I have 40. Actually, that is going to go into savings. Personal care. I had five. That will go into savings. And close is actually gonna roll over. So I have 50, 70, 90, five. So I did have seven, 70 in here, and then when I returned the shirts, I put 25 more, so now I have 95 in there. And I'm gonna take this money and add it to savings. I did think about adding this. I think I took, out of my bank category, I took 120 for groceries for this week, so it was a little bit higher than that. And then $10. Okay, so this stays in. When I have enough that I can start funding my savings challenge out of this, then I'll start pulling from here versus what I'm pulling from the bank. I'm just not quite there yet. So that is what's left in my envelopes. And um, I do have a newer system for the month of March. I am going to a pocket-sized wallet with cash envelopes as well as I've separated my envelopes into sinking funds versus like, my daily cash envelopes when I stuff them into two different binders because my binder was getting my little Muldron personal size, this one. I couldn't even snap it because when I pull the money out, I pulled the money out for the month. So once I put it all in here, it just got really thick and I couldn't snap it. And I couldn't write it in it. So I am definitely switching up my system just to make it a little bit more user friendly, but you'll see that in my March setup and my March, um, cash stuffing. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please put them down below. And also just as a reminder, we are getting really close to our 700 subscriber giveaway. Um, I am planning to redo that video. I tried to take that video and move it back up, but it didn't work well. So it is linked in the description box and just two reminders of things that have come up over the week. Um, there is a 20% off coupon for anybody with YouTube for my shop, Pretty Productive, and that's PPYT20, and that's always in the description box. And the chart that I use when I set up my budget, you can always request either the digital version or a hard copy when you place an order in the shop. I'm more than happy to share that with you. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you are having a good week. Thank you so much.